Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about back-end work. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Hi Frederick, I am now comfortable in front-end development and now I want to learn back-end development. I know how to set up a server using Express and MongoDB, but I know there's more to it. Do you have any advice? Thanks. Well, uh, so what I suggest that you do, uh, and I would say that this is universal for any anyone who wants to be a software developer of any kind, uh, the first thing you need to learn how to make is a CRUD application. A sta like I like to say just a standard CRUD application, and that might be, a too, be too advanced for some people, so I'm just going to try to define that real quick. CRUD, or Create, Read, Update and Delete, we that's the abbreviation is used to describe the normal operations that you can do with a database so create you can create a record in a database you can read it you can update it or you can delete it so what i what most people refer to when they say a standard crud applic crud application is any application that requires a database now that in of itself is a little bit loose so i went one further and i answered by saying that the the other restriction that i put on what you need to make is that your application needs to have user accounts and why do I say that? Why a CRUD application with user accounts? Well, because that is the most universal thing that I can guarantee practically that every single backend application you're ever going to build in any application, well, they're going to include those two things, almost all of them. Uh, maybe there's a few projects out there where you don't do that, but for professional reasons, this is like this is 99.99999% of what everybody's building and the reason why I think this is very useful for you if you're gonna go into back-end work is because it is first and foremost the most common thing but also it is the thing that will make you understand how the like why the web works the way it works and how it actually does the thing that it does because user accounts and how to store sessions what is a session what is a session cookie and uh, these that brings you into security things and then of course okay how do you store user accounts uh, what is a good strategy for doing that etc etc so this is like a breadcrumb trail type of thing where I say if you just because I know by just saying that you should have user accounts that you're gonna be forced to actually go down a learning path that is going to teach you the vast majority of everything you need to know in order to start building backend applications at least for the web and sure like in this scenario this person is mentioning that well I did front end first and that's why I say well Learning about sessions or sessions are that's pretty useful, but uh, there are other things. I mean, a session is just a way for you to express a a security restriction on the system. But there are other ways to do that, like OAuth, and you can have JVTs, and like there's all this. Okay, well, you don't have to be even fancy like that. You can just use basic. Uh, I don't recommend doing that. But for a simple application which is running on like a a private network or something like that that's perfectly fine uh, so that's the way I would suggest that you go about this by just doing these two things you're going to learn the majority of things now I want to just raise my finger on this one as a little bit as well and say that there is a lot more to back-end work than this so a don't you know if just because you know how to create an application with a user account that doesn't mean that you're like now a full-fledged back-end developer but you will have taken the first most meaningful step towards that end goal and you will have most of the like the base layer if that makes sense it's like learning the the boot camp levels minimum stuff in order for you to then take the step and do even more advanced things but start in this end and then progress towards more advanced things so what I want you to take away from this is that uh, the best tip that I can give you is if you want to learn backend development is to build a standard CRUD application with a use with user account support basically. The reason why I say that is because CRUD applications is what practically every single person who does web development 
is building in some fashion and you can come up with many things you can create like a full stack thing where you have something like a like a web like a web shop if you want to do that thing uh, you can create like some type of content management system or you can create a blog or you can create well, a social media f platform there's so many things and you don't even have you I mean if you want to be back and exclusive create a rest api download some data and then create a bunch of endpoints that you can connect to or integrate towards and so forth because that's also part of the backend thing uh, and then add user accounts to it or something similar to that and the reason being very simply that that is going to be something that exists in every application practically you're ever going to make in a professional capacity and it's going to teach you uh, it's going to start you down the path of learning about security and storage different types of databases such as uh, I'm not saying necessarily that you I don't want to anchor you so I'm not going to talk about like why a session how do you store that in an effective way and so forth because I want you I want you to figure that out uh, by just learning this stuff by just looking into it I promise you you're going to learn what you need in order to do the base basic work of a junior backend developer. Have a great day.